Hello everyone, welcome to my video blog at webmastervideoschool.com and in this post I want to talk about uh, the members login process uh, which I created inside my c -Sharp project. Actually this was a project I made during uh, the professional webmaster video course I created. Uh, so I will just now explain the general concept of uh, creating a member's uh, login form and uh, checking that the username and password are correct. Okay, so here I have a regular form which is found on my pages. Okay, this form has uh, one text box that is called a uh, user and second text box that is called uh, pass or password and I have also uh, the login button uh, which is submitting the form to login.php okay this is the general uh, and the general structure uh, of this uh, system here we have uh, the login.php and the target page in this case is a uh, login.go.php in this case it is just login.php okay let's try to log in let's type alex and alex and let's log in okay i logged in successfully and i have now uh, this message hello alex and the option to log out and if i will travel inside the website and i will access different pages i will still be recognized as logged in user Okay, so I will explain uh, explain this uh, now. Okay, so we are on login.php where we have our form. We are trying to log in and we are trans uh, transferred to login.go.php. Of course, you should know already the basics of PHP and you should understand uh, what uh, functions and what options of PHP I'm talking about. If not, uh, you may consider to go over my uh, video course, which is easy and friendly, but is including everything you need to be a professional webmaster. Okay, then inside the target page, which was... Uh, accessed by the form here on login.php I have an SQL uh, query okay I'm accessing my uh, my database and the database should include a table which is including the username and the password of my uh, of my members okay then I'm trying uh, to look uh, for such a member which has a username and the password that were received from my uh, login.php page from the form using uh, using the get method in this case of course uh, post method is also an option maybe even a better option okay so I am trying uh, to perform this SQL query and then I am just checking if I have any results okay if I don't have results that I'm going then I'm going in uh, going back to login.php and I'm displaying some error message or something like this and if I do have a result that means that I do have actually a user which has this username and that password and that means that uh, the user typed the username and password correctly in this case, I want to recognize him later when he will be traveling uh, my website, as I do here. Okay, this is the rec uh, this this is this actually uh, shows me that the site, uh, the website knows that I'm a logged in user. So let's talk about this. Okay, I will create a session variable. A session variable is actually a variable created just uh, for the current user in his current session, which means that whenever the session will be timed out, closed by us, or just the visitor will close his browser, the session will end, and he will uh, he will no longer be uh, recognized as logged in uh, user. Okay, so session is very good for us uh, because this variable. 
uh, actually the user is stored inside the session array and the session array is indexed with a user okay the username is stored inside okay inside the session of course this username is retrieved uh, from the table or just from here okay from our form if it's okay we can just assign it inside the session variable with the user index actually because session is an array and we can have uh, many sessions we can have also session with the index password for example to to store his password or we can go to the database retrieve his name and store his name also inside the session variable and then we will be able to display his name as I just showed you in the website okay anyway we are storing the username inside the session and we are printing something like uh, login ok uh, and using this session we will be able to check if the user is logged in later as long as he is still in his session and as I said uh, this session can be ended by uh, logging out or just by closing and uh, reopening the browser okay so my point is that uh, I will be able to perform this uh, PHP uh, check I'm checking if session user is set okay and if this variable is set uh, that means that I actually assign something to this variable uh, here okay and that means that the user is logged in because as I said the user the session variable is stored only for this user on uh, on his session okay so I can uh, actually check if the user is logged in by using this uh, uh, PHP condition sentence and wherever I want to log out I can uh, just unset the session okay and destroy it that is actually what is done here at the logout.php page okay we are logging out and now we have again the option to log in okay so what is done at that logout page is uh, basically unsetting the session with the user index and destroying it so now you should be able to uh, check if your uh, user is inside your database with the correct uh, password and if yes set the session then you will be able to check if the user is logged in by checking if session is, uh, un is set and uh, to log out by uh, unsetting the session and destroying it okay that's the general uh, the general concept I'm sure if you are familiar with uh, PHP basics uh, you will be able to implement this just make sure that you, you use the session start keyword or the session start function on every page you will uh, use uh, session variables okay that actually does nothing but it uh, it, it is just indicating and telling to your server that you will be uh, that you will be using uh, the session variables on uh, on your page okay so you must include this at the very first line before even uh, spaces or other uh, other text or other code this should be really the first uh, the first thing on your pages of course only on those pages you are using sessions okay that's all for this uh, for this blog post if you like this uh, you're welcome to rate it on YouTube and you're welcome to subscribe because I am uploading at least one new lesson uh, tutorial post uh, every day so I hope to meet you again during my next videos bye bye for now